Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Andrew Cannon, Ticket the Weekend Game, the last episode of Half-Life Blue Shift. We made our way through the sewer system and saw some soldiers depositing fellow security shift members down the drainage pipe. And in this episode, we are going to continue onward. I have to say, I'm really not too sure what to expect from this. So far, we've already seen Gordon Freeman and we're hearing about Shepard. And right away, we start Captive Freight. So, I don't really know what to expect. Now there's some boxes in here. I want to see if they have anything. They don't. But let us see what's up here. We're probably going to be in going into a gunfight. I can hear some... What seems to be gunfire. I don't... What am I seeing? So we see train yard. Freight... Oh shit. Sh okay, so... The armor for we get is really durable. There's a lot of grenades and satchel charges in here as well. So, okay, so we're learning. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to figure out why they... I, I'm trying to figure out what, what the purpose of this was. So we can't go in here. I guess this was just to give us grenades and things. So we're not going through the warehouse, South Exic. We're going to the train yard, aren't we? I hear gunfire even more. So let's switch to some grenades. I think we're probably going to get a assault rifle. Oh man, security guard. Ooh, and we get the revolver. Oh no. Oh, scientists as well. So they were trying to get out of here. So, kind of interesting, because we saw cars like this in, uh opposing force so to see them actually being used and not completely wait can we go back there this kind of makes me think we can go in this car hold on can we how would I alright we're gonna use a crowbar in the side window uh, or maybe we need to finish this how do we it's not really clear oh E duh that's actually a really cool thing. I didn't think... They have little touches in uh, this game I wasn't expecting, like being able to go in these cars and things we see. Looks like I can't... Is that steam tunnel access? Coincidence? I don't know. Alright, shooting the lock worked, so... Let's twist that and open that, but let's see what's this way. I have a feeling there's... Yeah, no, 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 no. So we saw military personnel. We can't seem to open the door. So we saw three military people, but I don't know what they were up to. I guess we're going down here. Okay, okay. Trying to get on this ladder without falling down. Well, there's water. But I don't want to fall into it. Okay, ladder decided I'm falling into it. Let's switch to this because I don't really want to use my most powerful weapon for little things like that. So let's see, can we break this? No. Danger, high temperature steam pipe, so we're going to be wary of that. The music's... Again, music is in this game as well. Uh, it's pretty more... It's more apparent too, and I like music. Now this game is obviously a little bit after both Half-Life 1 and Opposing Force, so... A lot of the graphics are a little better as well, I, I've been noticing. Obviously not too much, it was still there's limitations of its time, but compared to the other two games, the graphics are slightly better, I think. But let me know, do you think the graphics look a little bit better here? I think I've gotten to a point where the head crabs don't scare me as much. Alright, looks like we're going to have to uh, hug the wall. There we go. Stop that. As well as these? Oh, I was about to say, what are we supposed to do here? But that makes more sense. And I like that... Okay, the water... Okay, I've seen better water graphics, but I like the idea that the water is, uh... Coming from these pipes, so that makes sense. There's air pockets here, but... I don't know, that's really dangerously close, so let us use this valve. Okay. 
Let's uh, use that. That's one way to do that. Now I'm going to switch to my shotgun. And I'm, it's aimed at my heart. You've got one. So now that we've got that. I wanted, I know we can't, you couldn't do the other one, but the, the one I don't try will be the one that we're going to have to, so I'm just being careful. That one didn't, that was, they, they're not scaring me as much anymore, I have to say. Maybe I'm kind of expecting them more, or I don't know. But I want to see. That's, ooh. That was interesting. But it was nothing of use. Authorized personnel only. So it looks like we're going in the elevator. Let's go. Now, I don't know what to expect coming up here, but so far... Oh, we also could use that, it looks like. But so far, it's okay. It's a warehouse basement. Now, I know we're going to have to engage the military at some point. When, though, that's the question. Now, if we will engage Shepard is what I'm really wondering. Because that would be interesting. That would be awesome as well. To really fill the timeline at this point. Because all I feel like all the games in the anthology are doing their best to give us give us a sense of what's going on in the games because each little one I've been learning more and more about the others so it's just really interesting for me and I hope you guys are enjoying you guys and gals are enjoying it yourselves because I'm actually having a lot of fun with this now I am actually using more of the weapons I'm trying to anyway because I I've realized I, I tend to favor one weapon in this and just kind of use it for the entire game. So I'm going to be trying to give a little bit more variety for the weapons. Uh, Alright. I'm actually just going to do this. Oh, that took care of the ladder too. That works for that. Or not. There you go. I'm not going to even bother with that. Now, I will be trying to use more weapon variety. But in instances like that, I just feel like it's probably for the best that I... Is that took care of him. But what is this way? All right. Now what is over here? There's some crates. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out where all this leads. This seems to be the uh, air. But uh, for a second, I thought I wasn't able to take him out. I was like, "What?" This seems to be like the air. Con oh, thank God. This seems to be the air conditioning, which is interesting. But I kind of have to. I I, I didn't ask this when we learned that we can't use HEV, but what do you think of the fact that we use uh, security armor instead of HEV? I think that's a really cool thing, and it's a change from the other games that I think makes this game, in its way, a little bit more challenging, because you can't you can't rely on refueling your armor as much as you could in the others, so you kind of have to be used to the idea that there's not going to be armor in every opportunity. There's not going to be that guaranteed. And I think that's a little bit a little bit awesome. Now this is a uh, trap, so we're gonna have to realize what the pattern is and just do this. And say, screw you traps, I don't have time for you. Alright. <laughs> Let's switch to you. There we go. Though why the initial shotgun in the face didn't work, I will never know. All right, a lot of old TV monitors here as well, I'm noticing. So let's see if there hasn't been anything really useful in these crates, which is kind of, can we, can we push, we can pull these. So I see what needs to be done. We got to push this or pull. The pull on this though, like what is he doing? Oh, you can push it. Oh, that would have been useful to know. So we can actually forcefully push it as well by holding E on it. That would have gotten things done much faster if I would have known that. Eh, but maybe this is what I get for not playing tutorials, isn't it? I don't know. Let me know. Are you a big play tutorials before you start a game person? Or do you feel like you can go without it? 
Because I feel like sometimes going without it is okay, but sometimes going with it is good. But then again, there are also games that make you go through their tutorial. Alright, is there anything this way? That didn't get me, but... I don't know. Like I said, I think I'm getting used to the jump scares of the head crabs. They, they can only hold their charm for so long, I guess. They're still terrifying by all accounts, but... I don't know, I'm still kind of... I'm kind of receiving it. And my friend, uh, Brent, uh, he's been on my channel a few times, actually commented something on a video of mine that made a lot of sense. He quoted Alfred Hitchcock that saying anticipation is actually part of, probably one of the biggest parts of fear, and it's just it's pretty accurate. So, uh, thank you for that, Brent. But, let's see. I'm not sure if we need to go left or right, but I see a dead security officer down here. And uh, we have full health again, but it's really interesting because in this one you can really see a lot more detail in the body and such, at least in the face area. And there's some cogs in these boxes, and this is behind that, so we just kind of went in a circle. We just did all that to move ahead a little bit. Okay, well, I see what this is. They're talking on their radios. And I didn't want to deal with him. So, a lot of you have informed me that the real reason they uh, sound static is because they're on walkie-talkies. And that makes so much more sense. But uh, it seems like maybe we can go in here? Oh god, there's a scientist. Let's see what he has to say. I appreciate your help, but I'm afraid those bastards did their damage already. <laughs> if you were trying to reach the freight yards in hope of escaping, then... Just forget about it. The military is rounding up everyone and everything they can find, and either killing them or bringing them up here for questioning. A colleague and I came up with our own plan for escape, and we were on our way to one of the old prototype labs when we ran into them. But listen to me. If you still want to get out of here alive, your only hope may be to find my friend. <coughs> if you can get past the soldiers, find Dr. Rosenberg. With him... You may have a chance to get out of this place. All right, so that scientist gave us a little bit of information. Find Dr. Rosenberg. It's interesting because we haven't gotten the name of any other scientists or doctors since Freeman. So most of these have just been, you know, scientists. So to actually have a name, Dr. Rosenberg, and apparently they were trying to get out of here. So this is just, that added a whole new kind of perspective to this and Unfortunately, the military took him out. You know what? I do not appreciate you. Right at this very moment. I was trying to have a nice conversation and a guy just shoots me. Can you believe this? <laughs> well, it's a first person shooter, so it's gonna happen. So let's see what the stairs have to offer. Guessing military. No storage, keep clear. Uh, no comment on the storage. That wasn't too much in there. Let's see if a shotgun. Now my problem with the shotgun is it always feels like it takes too long to fire. First floor. I'm surprised they didn't... They didn't put more... Like, so far it seems like we have a good majority of the guns, but I don't know. I hope we get new weapons in this one as well, because when we got them in opposing force, it was really a nice surprise. Do not stack, no smoking. Alright, it seems like it's probably the way we gotta go. So let's go back in the stairwell and see if we can go up anymore and if there's any more rooms, second floor. We can't go on the second floor. Oh! Okay. Did he just go into my grenade? Both of them! They walked right into grenades! What was that? Okay, well, we can't go any higher, but I don't know. Those military personnel were like, oh, no, he's throwing grenades. The only option. The only option. Hear me out. Hear me out, man. Hear me out. We're going to walk into him. I know it sounds risky, but it might work. And then they did it. <laughs> I'm gonna use this.
All right. Now, I think we took care of most of these on the surface. I hear a little bit of gunfire as well still. But I don't see it. Which leaves me to believe it's probably not near me. Or wait, wait, wait. Yes, it is. God, I can't... Oh, my. <laughs> Died from my own grenade. Okay, that one was my bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was my gun doing? Okay, so they put us all the way back down here. Jeez. Well, it's not too far. And we know there's nothing of importance up there, so... It gives us a little bit of an idea of where we are. In retrospect. Now, we only have five shots. So I'm going to make them count. One. Oh god, no. Alright, alright, alright. What are you doing? Now, I, I will say, even the military personnel in this one... They look a lot more diverse than uh, the other games. Like, they have their own ethnic races and things, and that's really cool. Now, we're seeing more of these these vans, but they're all kind of... Doesn't seem they're able to... Doesn't seem they're able to be open like that one, so... I don't know, but it looks like we're going to have to be climbing in here. Or not. Maybe we need to go through this door down here. That yeah, makes more sense. So let's see what... Oh, we can. Hmm. Now, it looks like they were trying to get into one of these cars, but... Are we supposed to push it? No. Or maybe, now that we take, we've taken out those people in the higher floors, because technically that was a little bit higher, we can go up there. Which would explain why these people up here were here. So let's see. No. That, that's one way to take care of them. No, but... Hmm. Then what do we need to do? Yard manager. So we got through the first floor. We took care of everything here. Well, except here. Maybe maybe we are supposed to climb up here and kind of would make a little bit of a weird sense. So let's see. Jump here. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. So we were supposed to get up here. Anything important here? Or? Not really, there's some documents. Another door, but... Stairs. So this just brings us back, so if we needed to... Alright, makes sense. I'm gonna be careful when we walk through, because if we're crouched, we actually do get a little bit of stealth. Warehouse security. No smoking, dangerous. So let's, let's open up the door. I hear more radio or walkie-talkies, whichever you'd like to call it. The revolver and another security guard officer, so obviously they're not too friendly. Now I wonder, can I use this on the... No. I do like this. This is a new mechanic, having to use your gun to open things uh, on these locks. Because this wasn't in the other games. That's just a nice little thing. Uh, it's a little bit more realistic in a sense. Where, like, they would have things locked, and there's you want to get in there, so you got you have to figure out how. And, uh, we have a lot of this pistol ammo, so I'm going to see if I can use it. The pistol isn't not, isn't bad, it's just not the most effective choice. So, parcel receiving. Shooting his knee. Taking him out, mostly. Yeah, I'm going to switch to this. <laughs> just walked in and exploded that's always fun right so there's a switch here and it looks like the last person who tried to use it experienced gunfire and there's some scientists in here and it looks like they did not make it out let's close this door or not can you still talk or no it looks like these three are dead yeah they're dead there's no really hope for them but there may be some things in here there's, they always kind of put things hidden in these, so... Always look around when they give you options like this. Uh, these scientists, I feel really bad. I don't know. I guess this, this side of the story, we're going to see more scientists get really 
murdered than the other two. But with that, that's going to be it for this episode. Let me know what you think of all the scientists' interaction. Let me think about what you think about a scientist having a name, Dr. Rosenberg. I'm really curious to what you have to say, but that's going to be it for this episode. That's going to be it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your time. And as always, I hope you have a great day. This research facility had their little stick, and Gordon Freeman's mission, as well as our as B. Calhoun began, had a little bit of enemies there. And in this episode, we're going to continue going through the facility. Uh... Okay, that shows me not to go in that liquid for this freight facility. Now, obviously, this is probably... Okay. Yeah, that was, that's what I was just going to do there. Hmm, so the military were waiting in here. 